There are many ways to navigate Jonas Activity Management. Let's take a look at the different options available. The Application Menu button is located in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Clicking on this button will display a list of the last used programs in the right pane, and it is divided up into two panes. Hovering over items on the left pane will change the available options in the right pane. Items like the toggle pane have sub-menus that allow you to enable different toolbars and menus. The Reset UI settings will close all open panes and put the screen back to its factory settings. Next you have the ribbon, which you can see at the top of the screen here. The ribbon is one way of showing you all the modules that you have access to in your Jonas Activity Management installation. It appears at the top of the screen and can be minimized by right-clicking anywhere on the ribbon, and selecting Minimize the Ribbon. Alternatively, you can double-click on any one of the module headings to auto-hide the ribbon. You can also pick and choose what programs you would like to appear on the ribbon by clicking the Additional Options button, selecting a sub-menu, and right-clicking on an item to add or remove it from the ribbon. Alternatively, you can double-click an item from here to launch it from here. Next we have the Quick Access Toolbar, which is another way to quickly access your most frequently used programs and will display below the ribbon. By adding program items to it and then minimizing the ribbon, you can create more space on the working panel, which is the middle section of the screen you see here. If the Quick Access Toolbar isn't enabled, right-click anywhere on the ribbon and select Show Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon. To add items to the toolbar, right-click on an item from the ribbon and select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. You can also reposition the toolbar by clicking on the arrow and choosing Show Above the Ribbon. Next we have the Module pane, which displays the program items accessible in each module and can be found on the left-hand side of the screen. By default, the Modules pane is set to auto-hide up against the left side, and hovering your mouse over it will cause it to pop out. To keep it pinned open, you can use the pin icon or right-click on the module toolbar title to hide or auto-hide. You also have the option to make the pane dockable, which means the pane will be docked horizontally below the ribbon, or floating, where you can click and drag the pane anywhere on the screen. Within the modules pane, clicking on a module name will show the list of available tasks, setups, and reports. Clicking on the plus sign beside a subsection will expand that section for you, where clicking on the minus sign will collapse it. Extra modules that don't have enough room to display within the pane can be found as icons at the bottom of the pane, and clicking any one of these icons will move it to the top of the list. You can also adjust the view and spacing of the pane by clicking and dragging that blue bar. Then we have the Module Toolbar, Main Toolbar, and Main Menu. These toolbars and menus are another way of displaying some of the more frequently used programs by module. They can be enabled through the Application Menu button in the toggle panes by selecting the toolbar or menu you'd like to display, by pressing the applicable F key button, or by right-clicking on your ribbon and selecting the applicable option. These toolbars can also be undocked by clicking and dragging those dots and moving them anywhere on the screen. To prevent moving toolbars around, they can be locked in place by right-clicking in the ribbon area and selecting Lock the Toolbars. This will remove the dots from the far end of the toolbar. You also have the status bar that appears at the bottom of your screen. It lets you know the date, who's logged in, and the current version you are on. It can be enabled by using the Application Menu button or by pressing the F11 key. Next, let's take a look at some of the common tasks. Most of the activity that takes place in Jonas Activity Management occurs in the working panel of the screen once a program is selected. Upon selection, each program will load into the working panel in its own tab. Therefore, multiple programs can be used at the same time as they will all be within their own tabs. Program tabs can be rearranged amongst themselves by clicking and dragging the tab into the place you'd like it located. 
They can also be closed one at a time by right clicking and choosing close or closed all at the same time by choosing the close all option. Each program tab has the same common design consisting of a menu toolbar and a search toolbar. Each of these toolbars is movable and less locked and can be customized in the same way the other toolbars can be modified. The menu toolbar also gives you the ability to add or remove buttons by clicking on the drop down icon on the right. The rest of the tab is divided into an upper summary view and a lower record view with a movable divider line that separates the sections and can be slid up or down to conceal or expose as much of the screen as you want. A highlight in the summary area indicates the current record you are on and a selected row at the bottom indicates what record you are on out of how many records. For programs like sales items where there is a lot of information displayed in the record screen, the screen can be expanded into edit mode or shrunk back to short view mode by clicking on that green arrow. The summary area's width and row height can also be changed by clicking and dragging the columns and rows. Column widths can also be auto resized by using the reset button on the menu toolbar. Sorting of data can be done by clicking on the desired column header. And columns can have their display order changed in two ways. The first, by selecting a column header and dragging it into place. The second, by clicking on the arrow and selecting the column that you'd like to switch it with. On the far right, you have the column selector pane. By default, it is set to auto hide, but can be pinned or unpinned. This allows you to change the appearance of the summary section of the working panels columns that are displayed. By default, all columns are visible, but you can suppress any of them that you want. The data that is found in the column still remains and can be edited in the record edit section, but will no longer appear in the summary section. Now let's take a look at the buttons found on the menu toolbar. The new button is used to create a new record in the lower record view section of the working panel. Delete can be used to delete selected rows in the upper summary section of the working panel. If the row is tied to some other records, a warning message will appear giving you the option to delete them as well. This is normally not recommended. Duplicate is used to copy existing records. And Save is used to save any new, edited, or copied records. Export allows you to send a raw dump of information from the summary section to an Excel file you specify in a location you indicate. Print will send the information you see in the summary section to a print preview window where it can be printed from there. The refresh button is used when multiple programs are open. If changes are made in one program tab that affect another, use this button to update data in the affected program tab. Without a refresh, recent changes will not appear. Columns can be used to toggle on or off the column selector pane when the pane is not set to auto hide. View can be used to toggle on or off the lower record view screen. Reset is used to set the working panel's default configuration for the position of the split between the summary area and the record edit slash view area if it has been moved around. And resize is used to adjust any column widths that have been narrowed or widened to auto fit the widest data in each column. The previous and next row arrows are used to advance forwards and backwards through the row of the summary section. And close can be used to close a program tab. Then we have the search toolbar, which starts with find in, where you can narrow down the search to a specific column. Method which is used to set the rule that the search should use when trying to find what you want. Reverse lookup, you can use this icon to set the method to not whatever it is. For example, if you selected start with, adding the reverse lookup will give you a search that is returning all results that don't start with, whatever characters you've entered in the look for field. Case sensitive, use this icon to force the look for field to pay attention to the case of the text you enter and use the look for field to indicate what text should be searched for. Any text entered into this field causes the summer area results to appear filtered as you type. Use the X icon to clear any text to reset the search. 
One of the last things we'll take a look at is the customized screen. The customized screen allows you, the user, to configure your menu bar, your main toolbar, and your module toolbar, and set some of the behavior that you want Jonas Activity Management to show. This screen is found by right-clicking anywhere on the ribbons and selecting Customize. First, you have the Toolbars tab. The Toolbars tab shows which toolbars are currently displayed and allows for the ability to enable or disable those toolbars, utilizing the checkboxes. Toolbar setup and customize can be reset to their factory settings by selecting the desired toolbar and clicking the reset button. New custom toolbars can also be created by selecting the new button. Custom toolbars created can be renamed or deleted, but the standard toolbars cannot. In the commands tab, you have the ability to customize your toolbars and menus. All the possible commands and programs are displayed on this tab. The first thing you want to do is click the Rearrange Commands button. This leads you to into a screen where you can select which toolbar you want to change. Once selected, a toolbar can have items added, deleted, or moved up or down in the list. Items can be further manipulated by using the Modify Selection button where you can change the appearance of the item and even rename it to make more sense to you. If you make a mistake, use the reset button to undo all your changes to this toolbar. Then you have the options tab, which allows you to set your individual preferences for toolbars and menu effects. Use it to change the way the menus display and appear. Lastly is the keyboard button which allows you to change or assign your own shortcut keys to commands or programs that you frequently use. Shortcut keys can be used to navigate throughout Jonas Activity Management. Here are a list of the standard default settings.